Guys, based on a video that I have done on TikTok, as it, they have posed me some questions and some comments, guys, and I will show you guys how I respond to those comments, and it's down to you guys, and tell me if I respond to those comments wrong, or I responded to those comments right, my people. The questions that they, the comments that they make is based on the video which I post about the um, Canadian lady who tragically lost her life in Jamaica by her Jamaican boyfriend. And this was the comment that a few people make and I'll show you guys the comments now and also my response. And guys be honest with me, if I responded wrong, let me know in the comment section and if I have responded correctly, let me also know in the comment section, guys, and I'll show you the comments now and the reply. All right, my people, and them comment me like, do you ever publicize anything good about Jamaica? All right, me could deal with that comment here. You have 195 countries in the world. With Jamaica, we have 194. I am a Jamaican. Oh, if you go put the stress of every other country on my end and don't represent my country and ignore the fact that in a Jamaica, so much of the man them are kill off the woman them. Despite this woman is from Canada, because I don't know foreigners alone I get killed in a Jamaica, the very own Jamaican woman them, the man them are kill them off too. And what is the point? You live in our country. And ignore and black out all of our go on in the country and expect it to go get better. Me go ask you this now. It make any sense. You cook curry in our pot from last week. And go back and cook some rice in the same pot without washing it out. You have to wash that pot and clean it before you cook it again. The country needs to clean up. And the people like Uno help the country to mash up the country. Uno think I really the criminal them mash up Jamaica. Is the law abiding citizen them? We walk past a man with them sit down there, so just lick down three innocent people and tell themselves, I guess what, me are not in farmer. Me not assist the police. And the same law abiding citizen them, we live in some place where you support the same criminal them, right? And I protect them and I shield them. And when police go into them place, they, they run with the police them and said a police brutalization, this, that, and guess what? When them same criminal they start throw back up in a people house and do all kind of sitting, then we don't need the help of the police and the soldier. Them, you hear me? I say, people like Uno ignore everything we are going in the country and want to paint a pretty picture, like say everything is all right now. We country, when we country really and truly a mash up. When you just did it then, and I said, do you ever want to publicize anything good about the country? How much good is there we know of that? But don't you want to get rid of the bad things that we are in the country? You know, feel so we country that be a lot better if all of these bad things are happening in the country. First approach you want, brother, is to address the bad things that we are happening in our country. Innocent people that get killed every day. How much man are sending gun for kill off them regular citizens that are not involved in a crime? You understand me? I say, how much woman get in a relationship and I lose them life? Nothing wrong. Yes, in a this a 52 year old woman, Canadian woman case. Yeah. Let me ask you this. If I didn't publicize this right now, don't you think it is out there in the media? You don't think newspaper run gone with it? You really think that a Canadian national I go come to Jamaica and get one can to him head and the Canadian authorities them don't know about you and the broadcast in Canada and even put out a warning? A which part, a which world you live in? A which world you really live in? Let me tell you. You see when a problem is happening, first you have to address that problem before you can move forward. You know, bury your head under the sun and go on like nothing now go on in Jamaica. So really and truly, what you try to do? Pretend like nothing now happen in my country where me love so much, where me want to see people safe, especially women in the country, where every now and then, if it wasn't even a foreign national, it would have still be a Jamaica woman where a man put a can in her head or do her something else and she's no longer among the land of the living. First, I just want to make some comments. 
we don't have to think about what we know to say. The problem need to address and need to work on. Never mind the criminal them because a criminal them. Them have a criminal mind. It is expected of them to do criminal things. But we we say we are law abiding citizen. What is our job? To stay silent and ignore everything then? You see a man lick down innocent people down this and you say that now have nothing to do with me. I know my mother, I know my father, I know my picnic, I know my family member them. You just ignore the fact that another family over there saw a ball because him, him husband probably went gone out and got work and then rob him and get rid of him. I could have him son. I could have him neck. Anything. Brother, if you really want to see the country get better, bad things need to stop happening in the country. Because if there was nothing bad happening in Jamaica, there would be nothing bad to publicize. Look at it that way before you make a comment like this. Believe. Me like the comment here. Yeah. It catch me eye. My question is, Canada no have no man. But it's not, that is not the case, you know. Anybody is free to date whoever they want to date in a, any country. Because everybody is free to have whatever relationship wherever in the world. Right? Of course, Canada have man. But the problem is, not for them women are only fast with them here. Cause it, you know what the worst part about Jamaica? You see the good man them in a Jamaica who would have really find one of them umanya, go for him, build a life, settle down with them umanya, them ya umanya no want them because them na sell them no lies and them na give them no sweet talk. So the real good Jamaica man them when they really go find out and pick up, them no want them ya manya non tall. Them the man they don't they are so far look at woman same way. Is the old waste man them? We are going to beat them. We are going to go far in our run, go and left them. We, and then who we'll get the bad name? The good little man, them with them, their child look a good woman. Same way too. Them will get the bad name. They don't stand a chance. Them can't get a woman. You have a lot of women who go to another country and build a relationship and find somebody. Them same come from, get deported from Canada. And the woman follow him in Jamaica. Why never beat the woman over Canada and do that to the woman up there? Because in a Jamaica, it is normalized for a, for a man to demonstrate domestic violence towards a woman. It's been normalized. And a lot of women accept it in a Jamaica. You hear me I say? And a lot of men feel like when they're in a Jamaica, they can box down a woman, kick down a woman and do anything to a woman and they come like nothing. It is too normalized. And this is where the mentality of that needs to change. You see, if you ain't come like certain foreign country, where as you put your finger upon a woman, you ain't a problem. Watch and see if certain things are not different in a Jamaica when it come on to abuse against woman. Them things they need to stop. And I just say, reach. You see where he go? He make sure when he reach a Jamaica, when argument go on a Jamaica, a this or him put a can in the woman head. You see me a show no? Them things are too normalized. And if you ever ask this a question, yeah. my question is, Canada no have no man. Of course, Canada have all the man up there. But a person is free to choose what they want. Choose. Suppose a Jamaica man spark them. But the problem is, them not do them due diligence. Them not do no research. Them not watch what person operate. As long as the man put on the tailpipe good panar. And give her some sweet talk. That is the man of our dreams. But probably the good man out there, when you have no sweet talk, and when not tell her no lie, that the man they get pushed to the side and don't stand a chance. So my people, listen, anywhere in the world you go, and I date somebody of a different race, try figure out the person. Not just jump in like a so. Try figure out the person before you go jump and do this and do that. If a person good, you're going to know. And if a person is bad, there will always be red flags. Believe.